What's cracking guys? This is Honda recap number 20. It's been a while since we've been doing this and I, I don't know, I never thought we'd make it this far, but we did and I got a lot of cool things coming and a lot of builds are coming to completion. So let's go ahead and get started. Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another week of the Honda Recap. Like I said, this is episode 20 and I can't thank you guys enough for pushing me and basically just coming back week after week and coming back and enjoying this. I can't say thank you enough. I love making these things. I love being part of the community. I love how much everybody is contributing to the Honda community here on YouTube. So if this is your first time here, basically what I'm trying to do is bring what everyone has been kind of doing in the Honda community here on YouTube and bringing it into one digestible episode once a week. And that's Monday night at eight o'clock. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. So you're notified every Monday night at eight when this comes out. Anyways, guys, with that said, Thank you again for coming back for another one. This is episode 20. It's been like five months of just back-to-back -back videos and man, here we are. So like I said previously, there's been a lot of builds and a lot of people that I've covered in the past that are now starting to come to a little bit of conclusion and a little bit of completion of their build. And I wanna go ahead and kick that off with Hunter Tuned. This guy's had an EK hatch with a B20 VTEC turbo. And while this has all been getting put together, he has finally got the engine in his car, running, tuned, and driving. And in the latest couple videos, him and his friend Michael did a little race out in Mexico between a turbo single cam and the B20V. It's an awesome showdown. Go ahead and check it out. And it's just really happy to see that it's been about a month since he's really started the process, which is crazy because it's literally only been about a month. Hunter's been putting out videos daily and it's just been progress after progress and side hustle and uh, customer cars and everything. But he's finally got everything in his car running, tuned himself and he's ripping on the street and I couldn't be any more happy for you, dude. I'm so glad that you got your shit going. All right, after that, we got Young Static. And following the CRX budget build race car, it is finally hit its completion. He actually was able to make his car out to Street to Track's latest race day out in Sacramento. I think he surprised himself that he was actually gonna make it out there. There was a good time he was out there and I saw on Instagram that he was looking for a trailer, any kind of way he could get his car there and it looked like it wasn't gonna happen. But I saw from other people's stories that it was actually ripping down the track and then a few days later, the videos caught up. He was able to spray the car beautifully gray like he does the rest of the car. It looked great and he ran 12s with his stock H22 that he did the crazy port job on the intake and the side cut out of the bumper. It is insane what that car can put out power wise. And you know what? You got that driver mod, bro. So I gotta say, I'm really happy that your car has finally hit the track. I don't know what's next, but I'm really, really, really hoping that if you can make that power NA, I can't wait to see what you do when you hit 20K and you finally throw that turbo on. Speaking of turbo, we got SP Tuning. I said this last week that he's been putting out a multi-part series on how to actually build an 800 horsepower car. I thought it was gonna be a three-part series, but this guy didn't stop. I think we're on part four, five, and or six of how to actually put everything together. So far, we've basically covered the items that you'd need, setting up the bottom end, building the head, and I'm sure getting it in the car is gonna be something we're gonna see coming up next. It is incredibly informative and break it, broken down into sections, and it's actually more uh, instructive than it is vlog style. I really enjoy the vloggy side of how to install things, but you get to see a little personality and what it's like in the real life, trying to jam everything together but actually sitting down and taking 15 or 20 minutes to describe everything in a more informative session is actually really nice to watch so props to you man I hope a lot of people get to watch that video and I'm sure a lot of people know how to do it and for those of you that don't yet it is an awesome series to check out all right next up we got Mark Honda Street Garage obviously he's on his way to import Alliance but before that, he's getting a K20 in his buddy's EJ, and it's an awesome thing to watch. Step by step, it's not the first time he's done this, so you got to see how the flow went. But if it's your first time seeing it happen, Mark knows what he's doing. It's really great to see it all inside, and I can't be more happy for you, man. I'm, I'm so happy that you got the motor that you wanted in your car, and everyone else around you is starting to you know, get all the pieces together and finally building their cars. So... Definitely check out Honda Street Garage if you want to see some K20 action. All right, an old favorite, we got Motor Spirit. This guy has been building his EG quite some time. He's been busting out videos almost weekly, and I've been waiting for this. He finally got his EG at the track, and we got some super cool in-track footage. He's got the camera in the back, and he's just flying down the track. 
taking out different cars and it just sounds so good and I'm so happy that he's been doing everything by hand slowly but surely and getting it tuned and finally got it to the track that's you know the trajectory he was going for and he actually made it happen so I'm so glad I've been following the build man I hope more people do as well Next up, Steven Ocasio. This guy has definitely been showing you the pace by pace that he's been going to get his car ready for March Madness. He's gonna be out there at Honda Day and releasing his new color, which I believe is the Midnight Plum Purple that comes on the Honda Fit. Not many other cars have it, meaning that it only really came on the Fit. So he decided, you know what, that's the actual color I want for my Civic and he went for it and it came out great so if you want to see some cool march madness footage or some cool freeway footage with him and his friends definitely check out one of his latest videos all right back at it again we got hondas in south these guys have been putting a k-series together to put into their friend civic and it's been going along well i've been wondering where these guys are at and i really like the fact that they came back with a banger and basically have the motor getting put together and dropped into the car it's a cool group of guys you get to see a bunch of different personalities everyone's grabbing the camera basically just telling you what's going on and it's really fun and informative and just a blast to watch the channel is great there's a bunch of other channels they got an ef and a bunch of other civics so definitely guys it's a cool channel to watch if you just want to see some cool guys and awesome cars another guy that finally got his car put together is chris lopez this guy has been getting his craftwork supercharger and his fa5 going for a good couple of months. The last couple of videos you saw that he actually got it, he started to install it. In his latest video, he actually has it tuned, running, and he kind of shows you with the power that it's putting down. I won't spoil any secrets, but you should go out there and see what it does. It's quite awesome to see an FA5 on the ground getting supercharged, just ripping up the streets. I'm really happy for you, man. I know that you had some hiccups like everyone else does, but you powered through them, and I can just see the enjoyment in your face that you're super happy with what's come out with your car. All right, next up we got Boosted Boys. Kyle actually made a video trying to show you everything that kind of went into K-Series swapping the MR2. Kyle got the MR2 a really long time ago, had fun with it, the motor blew up, and he decided, you know what? It's time to swap in a K. And between him and PFI and the cars that they have there, he was able to piece together and create his own things so he was able to mount it in himself. He had to get his own stuff together to create the shifter linkage and mount up everything he needed for that, but he definitely got a turbo on it like every other car here on the Boosted Boys channel, but it rips, it's been tuned, and he's having so much fun with it. But you know what? I've been waiting for this video for quite some time because it's actually getting to the point where he can just get in it and drive. So I know that's probably why he made the video of just everything it took to actually make that happen. So go ahead and check that out if you've ever been interested in actually making that happen for yourself. Next up, we got Sergmotive Garage. This guy has been building a K24 RSX. Maybe he was in Maryland at the racetrack and putting it to work. He's definitely going for drag. I know he's got some new wheels. He got it tuned and he's out there ripping it. I don't want to spoil the times that he's gotten, but basically if you've been watching his channel, you know that he fully built the motor top to bottom, put everything in himself. So it's really, really great to see when you see all that happen on someone's channel and they actually get it out to the track and see what it can do and make it home at the same time. Again, man, super proud of you. I can tell that you're also super proud of yourself and everyone else that you're with that's cheering you on. It's an awesome channel. If you want to see some cool DC5 action, definitely check this guy out. Next up, we got Garage Built Hondas. I talked about this guy last week when basically he was doing a bunch of different stuff to his SI. I, I joked that he could probably do most of this blindfolded and I like the fact that he commented because he knows it's true. Uh, we do too, man. And it's awesome that you have that kind of knowledge. In his latest video, he actually shows you how to deal with your pedal assembly, how to remove it and install it. It's a really cool video because a lot of people have been getting automatic EFs and then wanting a five-speed swap. So there's a lot of elements within this video to show you how to go about and do that. So it's another video in the arsenal of basically how to take care and maintain the EF chassis. I can't thank you enough for being the guy that constantly wants to do that and constantly wants to weigh everything that you take out of the car. That's one of the main videos I found from you really, really early on is when you took out all of your interior and weighed it. And it's just cool to know that you're willing to do that work, man. Thank you for that. All right, next up, we got Honda How To, episode one of the EK build that they're doing. Engine is coming out. This guy started his channel showing you how to build a D16 Z6 for boost, and it was very informative, and the channel kind of blew up. But due to other reasons and weather and things like that, he kind of stopped making videos, but he's back again with his friend, and they're building a really legit car. I know that's kind of something he's really wanted to do. So this is episode one of pulling that motor and getting everything set up. I'm not quite sure if they want to drop that Z6 in now. I know there's a B series in it now, but I'm pretty sure when they've rebuilt that, 
they'll swap it back in. But until then, I really want to see that Z6 in there with a huge turbo and just see what you guys built. All right, following that, we got Honda Pro Jason. I talked about this guy a lot in the past couple videos, but mainly because as of now, he had a brand new FK8 Civic Type R that came in black. He did a poll with his major community and kind of figured out what color he actually wanted to paint the car, and he actually did it. He took his car to be completely repainted Phoenix yellow, just like the old Type R's, and as of now, it is completely repainted inside and out. He took his brand new car to a body shop, took all the doors out, the interior, everything, and painted everything you could possibly do as if it came from the factory, which is, you know what, what I would expect from you, Jason. So I'm super happy you did that. You definitely have an original car at this point. And he pulled out all the stops by literally taking the doors off, getting it painted on the inside so it looks like it came like that from the factory. And like I said, that's totally you. Super happy you did that. You have the one-off Type R, man, and it couldn't be for a better person. All right, guys, I wanted to throw this channel in there that isn't quite totally Hondas, but I did want to throw it out there because we got Speed Academy, and they're putting a K-Series in a Sylvia, and that's definitely something a lot of us want to see. I see a lot of people throwing K-Series in the S2000, but not many people are throwing K-Series in Sylvias, and that's definitely something I want to see more of. So, they have a couple videos out already of what they plan to do on how they're dealing with the transmission, oil, and getting everything set up. So this is sort of like an honorable mention because I love the fact that they want to drift and they want to do something cool, but they want it Honda powered. I just love the recognition of the K-Series engine, whether it's in a front wheel drive or a rear wheel drive car. I'm, I'm just super happy to see them doing that and taking the time to make multiple videos of how they're doing it and the problems that they're facing. That's way better than, hey, we're going to do a K-Series swap and then the next video it's on the track. I really love the fact and I really commend the fact that they're going through the paces and actually documenting everything that they're having to do for that. All right guys, now's the time I want to shout out to a couple new channels. I want to kick this off with 608 Garage. So we're here at Hunter's. He's uh, taking a look at it. So far so good. A couple of things I have tweak already. Um, got the wife here, my buddy. He's in here doing the magic now. <laughs> I couldn't figure the damn shit out. Well, we'll see if I can actually get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real. I don't know how bad I got it fucked up. It's my first build ever, so. I can fix and replace OEM stuff, you know, and figure it out, but I tore it all apart and I was like, uh, shit. Well, we'll go for it. <laughs> I found this channel a little bit ago and I've been kind of talking to him too. Why? Because he has a Del Sol as you can just see right now. And it's actually a really cool Del Sol that he built himself. And I believe it's the first time he's built the motor and he actually got Hunter to tune it. So that's really cool to see the little cross community action there. It really sucks that I know he actually got the cartoon, had some fun with it. The motor blew up, but that is not stopping him. He's definitely starting over. He's rebuilding the motor and starting it again. I believe his wife also has a Del Sol that he got and he's showing you how he's gonna go ahead and paint that. So it's really cool that we see multiple Del Sols there. But for the most part, man, I know your motor blew and you're, you were kind of sad for a while, but instantly I can tell that you're just like, you know what, I'm gonna come back harder. I learned what I needed to learn and we're just gonna do this. Next up, we got Jason from High Boost. Hey, what's going on guys, this is Jason. So I uh, just wanna give you a little update on uh, I guess the, the coil and plug uh, deal that I went with. Uh, it was pretty uh, DIY and cost friendly. Um, I didn't go with the Honda COP kit. I was gonna go with that, but it was just too much money, and I found this same deal for a lot less, and it's gonna work the exact same way. So uh, found a guy on Facebook by the name of Simmons Tuning. He uh, does like um, I guess little ROM chips or whatever. Anyways. Uh, I'm gonna flip the camera around and kind of get a little descriptive and show y'all exactly what we did and what it took. So I'll flip the camera around, show y'all, and then have something else to tell y'all about. I guess at the end of the video, so we'll flip it around real quick. So here's my ECU. On OBD1 ECUs, there's uh, 12 pins that go right here along the edge. Well, on those uh, those pins, we just had to desolder them and. Uh, there's a bus board or a bus bar, whatever you want to call it. And uh, we soldered those in. This little uh, motherboard right here actually sets in there. This is a fairly new channel. I really enjoy what he's going on so far. In his latest video, he's actually walking you through how he's going to do his coil on plug setup for his LSV Tech Civic. 
Like I said, it's a really new channel. I really hope he keeps pumping out videos. I really enjoy the project. I like how he's breaking everything down so far. And I, I'm, like I said, man, I want to see more LS VTEX. I want to see more B20 VTEX. I really want to see more G23 swaps and things like that. You don't see these builds. So if you're covering them, let me know. I'm super happy that you're making videos, man. Keep it up. All right. Last but not least, we got your Honda man. What is up, my friends? It's Edward Tomaloso, your Honda man, internet sales manager here at Honda of Santa Maria. And today I have the very highly anticipated Honda Civic Type R. The reason I say that it's very highly anticipated is because this is the first time the Honda badge has the Civic Type R. I like this guy's channel for many reasons, one of which I believe he works at a dealership here in Central California and he reminds me a lot of Honda Pro Jason when he started and basically where he's headed. If you're into new Hondas at dealerships and the accessories that they come with and all the cool doodads that come in our new cars nowadays, this is definitely the channel for you. He shows you a lot of cool stuff that's around the dealership, the new cars that are coming out, when they're releasing and basically all new Honda stuff. I'm fairly sure he's a big Honda guy from the past but I do enjoy the fact that he's showing you more up-to-date things things that are in the dealership now things that are starting to come out and just getting a cool walk around right there in the dealership so like I said this is a really cool channel people should really check it out if you're interested in the new Honda world all right guys that's it that's it for this Honda recap and like I said this is episode 20 I never thought we'd get this far I really hoping we were this isn't really stopping the encouragement is real I love every single one of you that definitely hits me up on Instagram or any other social media account and is just like, hey man, how you doing? This is my build. I thought you'd like this picture. I'm building this, wanting my opinion. I'm like, I don't, I mean, build your car, man. I love what you guys are doing. Every single person that has an idea, it's tight because that's your idea. So, I mean, it makes it that much better. I mean, over all the years that we've seen cars, you see different stuff between wire tucks and what harness you went to and if you want to run your lights through the fenders, whatever you want to do. Some people actually like all the wires in the engine bay because it just makes it look more OEM. And I love that, that people are going both ways. So like I said, I'm super juiced that everybody that's hit me up and enjoying this and this is literally episode 20. I keep saying that, but it's just like, it's crazy that we're still here and I can't, I'm enjoying it very much and I thank you guys for coming back every single week. So, like I said, guys, if you know somebody down in the comments that you watch their videos, let them know. I'm sure they'd love to hear from you. I'll see you next week, guys. Keep building your cars. Keep having fun. And just go hang out on the weekends if that's something you need to do. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.